What is good, ladies and gentlemen? You hear the music? You hear that? I know you hear that. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content I have for you guys and everything. This game is truly phenomenal. We have so much content for you guys planned. I have a lot of stuff planned to, uh, with some matches with my guys and everything. But this is just going to be a video running down everything, taking you through from start to finish, from the opening screen on over of how this game opens up how what it allows you to do what other options and just just everything about it man so please leave a like in the video subscribe if you're new let's get on some more sparky zero content so obviously we got the start menu screen and if you got the pre-order edition you got all of the uh, super saiyan go uh go gogeta and the broly stuff so this is how it opens up and this is the main menu you have episode battle and you have custom battle you can also switch over on the okay. d-pad to go to your battle or training and goku zips over to the world of the tournament stage to do this so once you click on battle you get to online or you can go offline and when you click you click player match rank match or you can check your rankings so you can also do super uh training battle training and training in general you can do world tournament world tournament online or offline what I would recommend is going into the battle training because this really, really gives you a sense of how the game is going to play. And not only how it's going to play, but the new mechanics that are involved. You have close range, man close range maneuvers. You have close range maneuvers. Uh, you can select any training type that you want by confirming with square. You can uh, just start from beginner. You can start from intermediate. You can start, go ahead and go to advance. Everything you need to know from the different counters and different supers and different types of uh revenge counters and all that good stuff because there's a lot of different unique techniques in this game guys if you play the old Ken tank it games and you grinded those games you, you, you could, you're gonna be solid i'm not gonna lie you're gonna be solid but but they dig to dig deeper they have a lot of new tech and mechanics in this game now this is just a battle training section you can also go over back into the episode battle and this is how it's going to look you start off with Whis taking you into like his orb so cool bro and this is where you get to tackle the story mode guys so there's a story map that you can access to kind of get a get a hold of like where you're at and let me guys let me tell you guys don't worry it says chapter two but this is an entirely different path in chapter two right so i'm gonna let you guys know this now i'm actually let's see let's see if we can make our way is there a way to like do this further oh okay you can do that you can go you can go back further so i'm actually on the plan of uh, the android arc right i'm actually on the android arc but there's so many different paths to take and what ifs you see the different paths there's so many you can take this path that path can go into this path it's so many ways you can do and the way you do this you have to get specific win conditions see these are two paths that i have unlocked you have to get specific win conditions for certain ones and you have to be playing on normal difficulty you cannot do any of these if you are playing on reduced difficulty it won't allow you to access these paths so yeah i started i went all the way to the android saga and i backtracked and came all the way back and did all the what if so now i think i'm on this one i think this one's like i'm not gonna say it yet but you guys are gonna see so this is like the story section of everything not only do you get uh goku's story arc but you get goku's black story arc who i heard is the hardest one to beat you get frieza story arc you get piccolo story arc gohan it is completely endless and just think about all the what if scenarios in these story arcs guys if you thought this was just gonna be the same old retelling of dragon ball you were sadly mistaken sadly mistaken all right that was the episode battle section now next you can actually summon shenron you you can summon Sh uh, super shenron uh purunga and you can summon regular shenron and i'm actually not sure how you can collect these dragon balls quite yet um but when we then, when we get it at this little i've only had seven hours in this game literally this is just my first day but i want to kind of take you guys in just like like a raw impressions and review but yeah, when we know how to get these, we're gonna be hunting for these. Uh, next over, we can go to our challenges and missions where we can actually showcase to Zeno's orders. And um, he actually gives you quite a, quite a few rewards for actually just having battle time with certain characters. Use hit in battle, uh, battle special mission. There's different things you can just get, uh, different type of rewards. You can get a lot of Zeny, which you're gonna need a lot of if you wanna buy characters, which we'll get into. He's so happy. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. That's good old Zeno. And then we have Weiss's stamp book. Um, he's going to go ahead and take you into his orb again. And this is where you can actually get um, 
uh, Dragon Balls. Oh, so these are where you get the Dragon Balls. Ha! Huh? Look at that. So you get the Dragon Balls from Whis' stamp book. And I assume you got to do, like, again, clear the different things to get these, um, these Dragon Balls. So we got the Shenron Dragon Balls. I think we got all seven. Oh, and you get Zenny as well. So you get quite a few. So make sure you're taking advantage of these. All right. And I think that was at the challenges section. Yep. So by completing challenges, you get Dragon Balls and you get Zenny, basically. So make sure you take a hold of that so you can actually go into the shop and get different characters and customize. So in the shop, I actually like what they said. Like, look, look at the camera work. I'm sorry. Go back. Go back. This is cool. And I like the ambiance. Right? They're giving you the Can't vibe with the music and everything. Oh, my God. Did you hear where Trunks just... Come on. That was intentional. That was intentional. I love it. I love it. So Take you right you into the watch, shop. Right? And you get into the TV. And I love the little Wi-Fi symbol on there and everything. It's so creative. It's so creative and intricate. This game is really nice. So this is where you can actually get actually get rest attack boost, King Kai's training, uh, different capsules and stuff. These are uh, this diff these different I ones reduce uh, like different abilities too. can even give you boosts in certain abilities Speak and stuff like that. Time. Where you're actually gonna want to spend this Zendi though is by getting these characters. Well, all right, buying these characters because these are gonna be kind of the ones that you're gonna want to get like to use online because these are like the cool cooler ones like I me i already got tapion and stuff like that some of them you can actually too. unlock so don't worry about it you can actually unlock some of them but um like ultra instinct stuff like that if you want to get them early if you're just getting online like, i know a lot of people Wish have uh gogeta right now stuff like that you can also often. get customization options and like to stylize your actual character and go into battle with these outfits on some of them actually Wish like with like vegeta he actually takes battle damage often. and you can actually have this on with one of his characters but you can just buy it as a starting outfit it's just pretty cool to actually see what other customization options they could add in here these ones seem kind of basic just kind of tailoring to like the timeline but i wonder if they can add some like real cool colors and stuff like that to the characters what or maybe we can actually do that today? we actually got to check it out you can actually change their voices today? um like to actually wait you can, oh emotes these are emo only voices all right so this is actually my first time checking this out this is nice and this is the background music you could um check these out too. listen to this music some you can actually get the anime pack uh music for as well um i just can't play any of it because you know copyright reasons huh. and we got player cards and stuff like that so yeah, oh, so no. No, your normal customization so stuff that'll actually get you into feeling like like you're playing the Tenkaichi Goku. game again, customizing your character. I just again, I want to see how far they can go with the customization. All right. Around lately? All right, next up we have the gallery, and this is the Encyclopedia, which uh, I actually did a video on this. This was actually really cool to hear and see. They actually get a call, like get on call, and the interactions are crazy. Like listen. There it is again. This is even worse than his base form of delinquency. I don't know what goes on in that man's head sometimes. At my age, I don't think I can pull off a hairstyle like that. I mean, it does make him look pretty intimidating, though. Uh, look how scary he is. I hope Gohan doesn't try to copy this look. I don't know if I'm ready for that. With how smiley Goku tends to be, seeing him like this is almost uncanny. Now his hair is red. This one I just don't get. The blonde hair made him look like a delinquent enough already. Well, other than the hair color being different, he looks like he's become a lot stronger too. Don't bother, that has nothing to do with it. It's all the same to Chi Chi. Great. Now he's got blue hair for some reason. I hope Gohan and Goten don't try to copy this nonsense. Well, I know I'm very biased, but I happen to like how flashy it is. If he keeps finding new transformations, maybe we'll see Super Saiyan Green someday. Or maybe purple. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, let's not go there. All right, so that was just a few of the interactions. Kind of wanted to show that off. That was like really cool to see. Like they put a lot of thought into it and not just making you read it. It's like they really talk about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that was basically it for the actual Sparking Zero showcase. Just kind of showcasing everything, what they have to offer for you guys. Every single thing you need to know 
for the drop on Friday. If you're not getting it until Friday, if you already have it, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm about to get into the lab. I got a lot of work to do. I have, was having a lot of, I was having tough, tough times online. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but we're gonna get it in. Y'all know how I do. We put in the work and we get, get the grind. So I hope you guys like this video. Leave a like in the video, subscribe if you're new, and then get on some more Sparky Zero content. Peace.